We are learning new details about that deadly church shooting in North Texas yesterday. Investigators say the shooter was a transient with a criminal history. 43-year-old Keith Thomas Canoonan was wearing a disguise, including a fake beard, when he opened fire inside West Freeway Church of Christ. Two people, including a church deacon, were killed. A volunteer church security guard is being hailed a hero for shooting and killing Canoonan before he could fire any more shots. That act of violence and another during a Hanukkah celebration in New York, both raising more questions about safety in houses of worship. Our Brandon Walker looking into that tonight. Brandon. And Christine, until the 1st of September this year, concealed carry was illegal in the state of Texas. That has changed, and officials say yesterday it made a difference. The live stream of Sunday service at West Freeway Church of Christ chronicled the moment hate struck. Two parishioners shot dead by Keith Canoonan. It also detailed the moment the church's armed security detail went to work. Jack Wilson, as the church's head of security, shot Canoonan in the head, killing him. I don't feel like I killed a human. I killed a, an evil. The heroism today is unparalleled. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick Sunday praised the security team's response amid the heartache. Patrick also highlighted two new state laws, one making it easier for churches to establish volunteer security teams, the other making concealed carry legal at places of worship as long as that place of worship allows it. Both laws coming to be after two dozen were killed at a church in Sutherland Springs in November of 2017. Fortunately, they had a plan. State Senator Paul Betancourt voted in favor of SB 535. We have to recognize the fact that churches, synagogues, temples, mosques, they're all targets now. So you have to let people defend themselves if they wish to. This is a tragic situation. State Senator Boris Miles was one of a few Democrats to support the legislation. Like Betancourt, Miles says Sunday's outcome likely would have been different had this bill not passed into law. And until we can get to a society, a civilized society, where we don't have to worry about carrying our guns, I, I want to protect my family. I want to protect my community. I want to protect parishioners in my church. And back here live, one more note for Mr. Wilson, the head of security for the volunteer security team at the church in uh, North Texas. He also happens to run his own shooting range. He teaches people how to fire, and he says that he often tells his students the importance of responsible gun ownership, and he says he also stresses the importance of keeping the gun with them because, as he put it, you never know when you're going to need it. We're live tonight in Sugarland. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.